Hello, I'm Zardus, and let's play City Skylines. Today, I want to show you how to expand your city realistically. Now, you should be at a point where you have a city uh, started. And if you're having trouble getting started, then I recommend my beginner's guide how to start video, which should be on the screen up in the corner. And uh, you can do that. But maybe wait till you finish this episode or finish this video but what i want to do today is the first several milestones that's the wrong button this one they really focus on so like where we're at we just achieved worthy village and the next several ones really just unlock some things that we don't really need at the beginning of the game and so i want to focus right now on expanding your city in a realistic way so that you get your base layout in and you feel good about how realistic it looks. Now we do have emergency services and police so those two things we will be needing pretty soon and we also will be needing more power before we get too much bigger and we'll need to upgrade our streets but for now let's go ahead and start with a uh, fire station. Now I have European buildings toggled in the main menu, so that's why I have two options here if you're wondering about that. I also have all of the DLCs, so there might be things in here that you don't have because they are from the DLCs if you don't have all of those yet. Let's go ahead and upgrade our road coming in really quick. I want that to be a wide road because that is going to be an arterial road coming into the city. So we did take out a little bit of our zoning there. We're going to go in and re-add it really quick. And then we want to get a one-way over here, coming off and getting back on the highway. So now that comes in nice. And just to make traffic a little bit smoother, we're going to remove the traffic lights. So we do that by going up to Info Views, traffic routes, and then junctions. And we can flip those off and change these to stop signs. You don't have to make the side ones into stop signs, but you can. And that will make the traffic flow well coming off the highway, come down, and then they'll get off there. And then I just want to upgrade a couple of these streets that are near the main one, just so that we have a little bit of stuff upgraded before we put in our fire department and our police department. So now we have a little bit of that coverage and we can start talking about our layout. Now on this map, we have, by the way, this is the, uh, what is it called? The Mountain Taper Map from the Map Pack DLC or Map Pack Content Creator Pack. So it is a really great map, a lot of fun to play on. And what I want to do is we want to use the map's features when we are building. So rail in general, at, at least in the North America region, which is what I typically build and what I think a lot of people like to build in here because that's kind of how the game is designed. But in North America, the rails came before the roads in a lot of cities. So we're going to assume that those were there and we're going to build roads around them. So we'll continue using dirt roads for a little bit just because our budget is still pretty tight and we don't want to get too broke. I do want this road is going to come all the way through and eventually we will want to probably upgrade that to be a uh, either below grade crossing or above grade so that it does not have an intersection at the train track. But we're going to bring this road right along here. And that is going to be a main road there. Then we're going to grab another one. How far away was this? 140. So we'll come out here, 140. We'll get another one there, and hopefully that will be enough space for passenger rail station, which I have not tested that idea, but I am hoping that is the, the space that we need there. 
And then we've got these two roads that are following this rail a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll get a commercial base in here, right around a passenger rail station. And we're going to have a residential expansion out here. In fact, we have the demand for it. Let's go ahead and fill those in. And then we'll get probably some industry out in here connected to this rail. Unfortunately, I mean, we also we want to take advantage of this pretty area in here. So we're getting our town over here, and I think we'll get some more residential over here. Let's plan on that first. Get some roads in here, and what I want to do is make this grid a little bit tighter through the center here. Okay, so now we've got that set up. We know that we're going to get some commercial in here eventually. And I'm going to expand it so that we have more residential over here. And I will be right back. Okay, so we have a road layout out here. And it is very grid-based, but that is a typical style for any North American city, especially ones that were built along the railroads. And any time that you are building a city realistically, you should be thinking about the story behind the city. And in this case, we have a railroad that came in and they built a railroad and then they saw a good spot for a town. So they quickly surveyed out some land and they sold it. And that was how a lot of towns got started in North America. So what I want to do here is we are going to have kind of a, a grid base, especially here. And then we'll get some on the other side of the railroad too. Although a lot of the town started just on one side of the railroad, so maybe we'll do that and then we'll get a little bit of different design, like a variation from the grid as we get outside of that. But for now, let's also deal with this. We have a little bit of noise pollution over here. We can see that by going over to info views and going to the headphones. And you can see that they are do feel that there is a little bit of noise there and so they are getting sick one way that we can combat that is by putting in a medical clinic that is going to cost us a little bit of money to have but that will send out an ambulance over here and that will help these people not be sick so that will allow us to have them even though they are really close to the noise pollution itself so now I've already got water over here. Let's go ahead and expand the city out with more population. I'm going to start by putting in some commercial in here because commercial doesn't worry about the pollution there. And we'll get a little bit more here. And then we should be able to get residential in the rest of that. Okay, and now we have expanded enough that we are at Tiny Town. So we've now unlocked park areas and industry areas, and we have demand for industry. So what I want to do is I actually want to do an industry area. Now, I have the Industries DLC, and that means that I have this icon that is a little different than if you don't have that. It would just be the garbage icon. But I also have a lot of this stuff unlocked because of the industries DLC where I have it available. And in here I can do different industries and we are going to get a farming industry. But if you don't have that, then you can just do some zoning. And if you need information about specialized industry without the DLC, there's another video in the info cards for you up there about that. So what I want to do is I want to actually expand with a new tile out this way. And I want to do that because I want the farmland. And you can see that that is farmland. If you are unsure, you can go up to info views and go to natural resource. And yellow is fertile land. That's where you can put your farms. We also have ore in that tile. So that is a good spot to expand for industry. And that's what I want to do. It's also good because we have a rail that it goes through there, which will be our uh, cargo rail. So we are going to go ahead and we'll buy that tile. Right here, it's going to cost $5,300 to do it. But now we have 
a second tile and we can expand out that way. So what we want to do is again follow your map's features and we have this rail here so we have this road that comes up and then what I want to do is we'll get another road that is farther out. Now I don't want I don't want it to be a really big road going all that way because I don't anticipate having too much traffic there. But we want to try to follow this road or this rail. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find where it is straight, which is out here. We want to be a little bit away from the rail. Yeah, that'll be straight enough. And then what we can do to get it to be a little bit curved, and it's not going to be perfectly along the same curve unless we come all the way out here. Yeah, that's not quite the same. Here we go. That is a straight spot. And that was a straight spot. So what we're going to try to do is bring this all the way down here. And we're not going to get our guideline here. So we're going to guess. And that is pretty close to being parallel. So we're going to take that. And that just follows that rail nicely along there. But then I don't want it to come all the way here. I want this road to be the arterial that comes down like that. So we are going to grab the wider road here. We'll bring it out a little bit before we then transition into smaller road. And in fact, we'll be a little bit more scientific about this. We'll go 15 units. We know it's 15 because there's a line here that shows that that is 10 units. And then another line shows up when you're halfway through, see, 15. So we'll go 15 units there. And then we'll grab this and our curved road tool. Come on here and get our, let me make sure I have my toggles on. I have hotkeys, by the way, that tell me, or that allow me to reset all of this. Bring this, there we go. There we got our toggle or our thing. And that can go over to there. So now we can get down here and we can get some industry. Bring the road further. And then we are going to create an industry area by going like this and paint the area here. So I have other videos about how to do industry areas. And so I'm just going to build one. This video again is more about the realistic layout and uh, yeah. Okay, so we have a very basic uh, farm area out here now, and you can see that we have, it's time for a new power plant. So now we have a small problem that we don't have the money for a big power plant, but you know what? We can get a rural one out here. We can get a windmill right over here. It will not provide a lot, but it will provide at least something. And I think, yeah, we will put the one out here. The important thing is to make sure that it is attached to the grid. So we are going to bring that right along this way. Now all of that should be in the grid, which will give us a tiny boost to our electricity until we can get a, another power plant. So let's come back over here. And in a little bit, we're going to get another power plant in. Okay, so we have the money for another power plant. So what I'm going to do is just bring a road out this way. And we do want to, actually, I think now we're getting far enough away from the grid that we probably don't, or away from the rail, that we don't have to be as connected with our grid. I think this is probably about as far as they would have gone with that initial grid. And then we will get more layout after that. But the next thing I want to do is watch unemployment. We're at 10% unemployment, which means that's about where I start adding more jobs instead of more people. So let's go to our industry area and we'll just add a little bit more to that right now. Okay, so by the way, if you are enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps to spread the video to more people who like other videos like you. But now we have unemployment is under control. We're back to 5%. And so we are going to add more people. And then we're going to work on more roads as well. We're going to get some out this way. Actually, you know what? I want to take these out. 
because I think what I want to do is I want to undo this road. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to do now is focus on getting more roads away from this was the initial grid. And we probably went a little bit further than we probably should have. Let's go. We have these. If the train station is going to be in here, then we're going to have, let's say it goes it's centered like right in here. And then we'll have one, two, one, two, three, four, five that way. One, two, three, four. We need one more here. And that will even out our grid. So bring that like that and up. And like I said, that will even out our grid. And what we want to do now is we're going to look at this and to keep it being realistic, we're going to think about where the roads would have been. And I think one, we would have a road going along this rail. So we're going to put one in over here. About the same distance as we've been doing, although we don't own that tile, so we can't do that. We'll extend along this way, though. I want it to be equal to that. So we'll get that in there and that road can continue there. And this area is going to be a little bit tricky. But what I think we would see is maybe so this road is going to extend along that rail. But I think we also would see, let's see, that rail would go or that road would go to the beach. See a road coming out this way. So I think since the grid comes to here and then goes out that way, what we're going to do is we'll see a road come out like this, 45 degrees, and go straight in that direction. So that can go in that direction, and that can give us an opportunity to have a little bit of a different grid as well. Then on the other side of the track, we're going to have an opportunity as well to work with some of this. And one thing we can do is we can have the terrain contour lines on while we're building a road. So we did that by selecting the road that we want. And then we went to terrain heights. And now we're building while we see the, the contour lines. And what I want to use that for is we are going to bring a road around this hill. And it can go like that. That'll be a nice little road there. And that gives us another opportunity to maybe have development in between here. Here's another hill on this side that we are going to build around, although we've got the railroad here too. So let's leave that one out. It's always just a little bit of a uh, trial and error type thing as you are building your roads. Now over on this side, this road can continue out like this. That can be the edge of the farm too. So that road comes along here. And what we could do is we could bring this out and maybe we have another crossing here. So this road continues straight through here. And then this one can come across here and that can be another crossing point and this road then continues in this direction and we can bring it in like that then this one can continue out here and make its way there so now we have some roads to work with as we are making this more realistic now i'm going to extend the city more and upgrade our roads as we go along. Okay, and it's at about this time that I like to expand or like have a more planned industrial area. So this area that was in here, let me put the zoning on, this was really a temporary industry area to get us started. And now I think I want to put industry in here. I think this would be a realistic spot where you've got the cargo rail right there. And then we'll get a cargo rail station in here somewhere. And we're going to get in cargo industry all around it, especially see this river probably would not have cargo going on it. It is too heavy, but we definitely would have the rail around here. And maybe we would have seen a little bit of water mills around there in the early days of this city. 
But let's go ahead and get some industry roads in here. And we'll also upgrade this road to a larger version until there. Now we've reached Boomtown. We have 2600 and the key thing here is now, I mean, we get airport areas, which is really nice if, if you have the airport's DLC, but we also have to worry about a cemetery. That is the key thing here that your people are going to complain about if you don't do it. So it's important now to go in and build a cemetery and we will put that just on the edge of town it like right out here that just kind of adds a little bit and you'll notice that I moved the water treatment and all of the industry is now gone the pollution is getting away and we are filling in but we also are at a point where now we can continue to extend and I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make this road a bit bigger or at least paved and we're going to bring a grid off of here I'm going to just stick with the same sort of design, which I like to do, which is 10 by 20. I find that to be a nice little size for uh, residential grids. So extending a grid or like creating a grid like this gives you the opportunity to have space in here. So this is a little bit of an awkward area because it's two grids coming together. And so we can get a park in here or what we could do is we could use that for where the elementary school goes. So we'll put an elementary school in there. And we'll go ahead and I like to throw a playground in by my elementary schools. Just to have an additional playground and another way of, well, that's one way to remember to put a park in. So we'll get that in there. We'll probably get a high school in there too. We can fit that pretty well. We'll put that over here and then with the high school what I like to do is I like to put in can't afford it right now but a sports hall and gymnasium and we'll put that next to that when we have the money but for now we'll continue to extend out this way Now we've got two triangles that we can work with and the other one we'll just put a large park like that. So that adds a little bit and we can go ahead and extend the grid on the other side of this road too. So that should be a suitable residential expansion and you can see that we are breaking that grid a little bit and making it a little bit more realistic because you would expect that they would still want it to be easy to survey, and but they would still be utilizing this new road, which is going out in that direction. And now we have reached Busy Town. We are at 5,500 people, and we are growing pretty well. In the meantime, I have been adding a little bit more industry over here. We have a, an ore industry, and this is filled in. We do have some issues that are sorting themselves out as the garbage trucks make their way around. We really could use another landfill, so we'll go ahead and get one of those and I'll go with a recycling center and tuck that over in here. Just to add a little bit more capability of the city and you can see that things are coming together and we will continue with this in another video which will be on the screen now if it is available. If not, I've hand selected one that I think you will enjoy and find useful in the meantime. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.